Hello everyone. Welcome to this exciting session about cloud economics. I'm sure most of you would have already heard about this term as lately it has been coined around pretty much everywhere. But before we could take a deep dive into the topic itself, a little bit about myself. My name is Yogesh Devdhare. I had been in an IT industry for more than 20 years now. And out of those 20 years, past eight years had been spent with this wonderful family called Sujati. In this entire tenure of mine, I had played multiple different roles, be it into the delivery, be it into the sales, be it for the practice or for our go-to-market initiatives. Currently, I had been leading cloud economics offering for Sujati India, at the same time being part of a multiple different strategic accounts as well as the sales initiative. But that's more about myself. Now, let's look at today's topic. So while we take a deep dive into the cloud economics session today, we will try to cover three important aspects of it. One being why there is a need for a cloud economics. What has initiated this whole topic? The second being our view of looking at this, which differentiates us from others. And third, to know a little bit about our offerings, our value adds, which you could take back to your client and then have discussions with them on this topic comfortably. So when we say cloud economics and then the first topic of it being why there is a need to look at cloud economics. Now, there had been and cloud adoption on the rise for past few years. Of course, the pandemic recently has prompted this cloud shift to accelerate at a tremendous speed. According to different uh, research organizations, like for the Gartners, the McKinsey's, the BCG's, are been saying that the cloud adoption by the enterprises is going to increase year and year on year more than 20% of a large organization spends more than 12 million on their cloud, even at its today's pace. More than 59% of an enterprises are expecting that their cloud usage is going to exceed prior to their earlier budgets due to the cloud, uh, due to the pandemic situations today. But what is happening is while the cost Reduction was the priority for most of the CXOs in this tough situations or the tough conditions. What they had realized is due to a sudden rush towards the cloud, due to the unplanned shift, the migrations, transformations, what has happened towards the cloud, what they planned was to reduce down on their OPEX cut down on their expenses, but more than 70% of an organization today are failing to do so. And as a result, they are expected to cross their budgets while the cloud adoption is on the rise. Now, is that is that a good situation to be? No that's not at all and that's why if you look at there had been a top cloud initiatives for a 2020 most of the cxos are been looking at optimizing the existing use of a cost and that has created this term about cloud economics and that has given rise to looking at the different means to optimize the cloud just today But is, is that the real scenario? Isn't it everyone looking at reducing the cost even while uh, before they move to the cloud or even after they move to the cloud? Of course, yes. In fact, cost optimization was the first lever for many of an organizations to move towards the cloud. But then what went wrong? People 
they were always focused on reducing the IT risk. They were always looking at if I could control the resources on a cloud, then I could probably reduce my overall cost. But that wasn't the only scenario. Of course, the resources running on the cloud makes most of the cost which company spends on their budget. There are different variations for the pricing mechanisms, the subscriptions, licenses, all of those are the low hanging fruits and most of them look at it. But what you have been doing till now is not going to help if you continue to do same thing without actually realizing what does contribute to a cost versus value. Not only looking at the expenses which arises from the resources being provisioned onto the program, but bringing an overall awareness about the cost of your app, the cost of your feature, the looking at the performance versus the value your a particular feature brings in, and at the same time, considering the right set of a governance to take an accountability to bring in the mindset of a DevOps is going to be a mantra for looking at a cost optimization as an overall uh, service. And that's where to be able to deliver more business value at a lower TCO, we are setting up in Sojati's cloud economics framework. How? Is by boosting the cloud economics awareness throughout the organization and at various different stages. Let's look a little bit more into detail into it. And now that we know what organizations are looking for and what they are currently missing, let's understand how Sojati's cloud economic framework looks at a holistic view for a bigger picture of cloud optimization. And while doing so, realizing that cost optimization isn't only looking at reducing the cost of the resources. And once you realize that fact, the framework which compromises assessing the current situation of an organization, implementing the right measures for their current cloud adoption, as well as their future transformations and making sure that we always monitor and optimize, bring in the right governance so that organizations can realize more business value at a reduced cost of an operation is what is more important. And how do we do it is by actually breaking our services also into this same three categories while the assessments or the rapid cloud optimization assessment as the name says does look at identifying the quick wins for the organizations getting in visibility into the spend into the utilization identifying how can we balance the performance versus the cost and then providing this optimization opportunities to minimize the waste at very and, and enhancing the performance at a very quick speed. Now there is also a possibility to define a future roadmap and to identify a quick implementation for a visible outcome in less than a few weeks. This typically provides you a visibility of where do you stand as an organization and does take care of and quick implementation stages. But as we said, just reducing the cost of the resources is not going to be the long-term solution. And that's where the second aspect of our framework, bringing in cloud foundation, or bringing in cost awareness within your architecture while you adopt or while you transform towards a cloud, making sure that the cloud native thinking is brought into the equation to bring the balance between the performance 
versus the cost what you are looking from an agility scalability flexibility of the cloud and at the same time being able to control the cost is more important and for that using the cloud foundation services of ours how do we align towards the cost and then the performance how to be aligned between the balance of an cost versus performance making sure that the the new technologies the cloud native thinking the containerization serverless technologies are being brought in for optimizing your current spin and making sure that there is no lock in to an vendor which could probably harm you in a longer run from a specific from an, uh, your licensing or the subscription and and finally looking at the finops or bringing in the right governance to bring the financial accountability by design in operations to proactively look at a monitoring to identify the trends and take the right decisions on right time to utilize your continuous testing approach to utilize the application performance monitoring by bringing in the right tool sets so that the continuous right sizing identification and then the consolidation of your state has been done continuously lastly the the thinking within your devops teams so that the culture of making sure that the cloud spend accountability is been taken by the entire team has been brought in by a specific structure been called out within the finops and we will take a look at how that has been achieved shortly and now that we have already seen what organizations are looking for and what are they missing as well as what is sujit's unique perspective about cloud economics as a topic what are our offerings associated with cost optimization let's also understand a little bit more about this offering of course like any of our other gtm this service offerings have also gone through the cycles of being ready to sell being ready to deliver being uh, being developed in a such a way that there are methodologies written around them there is the processes the tools being identified the estimation frameworks behind them the service descriptions and all of the materials what you need for taking them to your client but let's look at some of the unique features of them like what we discussed about and rapid assessments of course most of the organizations today do this kind of an assessment for their clients but what differentiates us is what we had done is standardize them in such a way that we could run this kind of an assessments in the exact same manner with the exact same outcome of it been defined by the set of people of course to help them there are predefined questionnaires predefined user stories which you could immediately start deploying on any of your existing customers and then starting to reap the benefits back at a much quicker pace of course we utilize our strategic partnerships with the different vendors like we use the terponomics to identify the performance uh, bottlenecks or we use the app dynamics for identifying the or doing the performance monitoring what we had also done uniquely is created something which is very specific for us sujati like the self serve assessment portals why not to take a look at one of them right now what i'll show you is and glimpse of an assessment portal which is being utilized for conducting an pretty quick assessment of the existing landscape by any of the client stakeholders these are very self explanatory question sets which covers the various different aspects as how do you enable the governance and these are the multiple choice best questions one can go there fill in those 
have an understanding of and i'm doing it just for the sake of showing you guys what are the different aspects from let's say governance right sizing the resource management and what are those being currently followed in an organizations also looking at different models of an organizations and as well as looking at an automation possibilities what does it do is it provides as you complete a quick survey like this it provides you the current maturity of where do you stand on your cost optimization initiatives are you uh, do you have a right governance do you already have practices which does take care of and resource management do you look at technology alternatives do you have a right set of an organization model do you use automations to its fullest and you can do this kind of an assessments pretty quickly what does it gives for a client is to understand their maturity as a whole on the topic of an cost optimization and for us a, a foot in or the opportunity to discuss with them a possibility of working out a different scenarios we can continue to deep dive into this as anyone has been interested for it similarly when it comes to cloud foundation which is building a backbone for your cost aware architecture and making sure that you build your new cloud native applications in a most cost effective manner what do we have as a differentiator over here is one a cloud boost library a library of ready to use a standardized set of an templates for infrastructure as a code configuration as a code as well as pipeline as a code so that your implementation through a ci cd pipelines could happen at a much faster pace of course in a more uniform and a standardized way wherein the templates had been already created considering cost as a primary factor for balancing with the performance requirement and then is deployed in a most consistent way while we use a cloud boost at a various different uh, scenarios even today our standardized adoption and in the automated way of using these templates make us consistent and make sure that the compliance to the performance requirement the security requirement as well as the rest of the availability measures has always been considered but at the same time this the uniformity of this particular implementation make sure that it is easier to control easier to manage and because it has been written in a such a way that the cost efficiency comes as a primary factor is always aware of the cost additionally one migrate which is our automated migration workflow ensures migration to the cloud happens in a most consistent and a speedier way with the automations reduces the efforts of migrations similarly one native which is our defined framework for the cloud native developments provides the developer with the ready to use a block building blocks and provides a overall framework so that the the thinking about or the cost awareness is always being preferred while developing a new applications and now when we look at the last block of our, our services which is finops which monitors and optimize the services continuously what differentiates us again is the unique structure of the finops team this team addresses the topics of an improvement or the cost optimizations that are out of a reach for an individual teams and challenge which you usually see when different teams works in a different silos the finops team works not only with the different technical teams but also with the business and in the product owners the finance and procurement team and 
finally with the cloud providers to identify and then take to the execution of the optimization possibilities how it is been done also there are there is a defined approach where a collaboration and in the guidance to the different teams is been is been done to define the improvements we not only use the the cloud native tool sets the well architected review tool sets being provided by the the cloud providers or the cloud vendors itself but also our own set of our tool sets to analyze the tco and in the cloud maturity which is involved per team for the continuous monitoring and enhancement of your current cloud uh, cloud spends the intuitive cost dashboards which are being built for the customers does help them to get and transparency and the always get to see the view of where they are from the cost spending perspective whether there are right measures being implemented to keep the control on top of it and that's how we actually go and see uh, that's how we actually go and implement those particular services so that the cost optimization which is been seeked by an organization has not only been looked at only from one aspect of reducing the cost of our resources but does take care of a whole view of a bigger picture of considering the current state or the current maturity of an organization implementing the right set of practices right set of processes enabling them with the 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 and the right architecture and at the end monitoring and optimizing their cloud state continuously now to summarize that when we look at and sojiti's cloud economics framework which brings in the end to end capabilities not only from the advisory perspective bringing in the optimization assessments helping the organizations to align towards the cloud in a most consistent and in the cost effective ways and also making sure that their existing cloud implementation has a governance and in the control on their cost spending that's how when you look at the overall service offerings of ours it brings not only agility for moving towards the cloud it also enables the workforce productivity by uh, by improving the productivity by 20 30% make sure that the stability so that the less it errors and in the reverse means that there are less incidents the more the availability of your business services is always been enhanced taking the accountability bringing in enhanced governance through 100% of an finops visibility making sure by all of this means the business performance or the business growth has been achieved and the cost optimization has been achieved by 25 to 40% that's where we stop for this particular session of course we will continue for the question answer rounds and to look forward to hear back from you if there are any specific questions or where we could help you to get back to your clients to start initiating meaningful discussions and enabling your client to reduce their tcos at the same time helping them to realize more business value from the services what we provide thank you very much